Guys, we don't get to sell a 57 bird off of Last video showed a big collection of collector cars and trucks. They've all been lined up to sell. I did the walk around. And now today, it's time to watch the auction action. All right. Everything right here on your muffler bender. All right, guys. This has all the deals you need. After we sell the muffler bender here, there's a set of muffler goodies that's back there. We're going to sell this, then we're going to sell that. This and then that back there. So if you want it all, buy this, buy that, and you get it all right there, guys. Okay? All right, let's go. Sell it to you right there. Turn it off. Let's go. All right, who give a who give a three thousand, two thousand, twenty five, go with that, who give twenty five, go with that, two thousand, go with that, fifteen hundred. Who gets to go with that, fifteen, with that seventeen, 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 with that
some disc brakes on there and yeah, refresh it all. Okay, we get the point. We get the point. <laughs> it starts, it runs, it moves. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I 
Probably still a good one. It did run good. It's got a lot of 1980 to wipe off of it. Too much. Too much. <laughs> you gotta rethink. After 25, 30 years, it'll be right back in style. <laughs> All the 1980s you're cracking on, it'll be right back in style. <laughs> You better hurry up if you're going to buy and his nice little uh, gas station gas. 4900. Thank you very much. 4900. I know. Yeah, you buy that tub. A little nervous. Oh, yeah. Jumping. <laughs> now this is seventy five. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Yes, sir. Seven thousand, sixty-five without seven, sixty-five without seven thousand, seven thousand. 
At Pate, they'd ask 20 for it. Fort of Hardtop's not around every corner, but it's just kind of an average restification refurbishment. Overspray and sandy paint everywhere. Just an old car. Fifteen, 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 fifteen
$2,600 worth of parts is about it. Yeah. This thing belongs on a movie set somewhere. It does. You're going to scan it from that one. It really belongs with an old timer like the guy in the stripes there that's doing like scrap. You know, like buy oil field stuff and run it into the yard. One of those like old school block and tackle type of guys. Anytime it goes this way and up and down, that's all it needs to do. Man. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great for pulling cows. It would, yeah. Just not quite as compact as a skid loader. Very true. And you can't really think of it. Cheaper to buy a Matonka. <laughs> Less maintenance. First time I quit, so I don't know how to fix it. Yeah. Of course, this thing you'd probably more service at a tractor dealer than a. Look at that roller chain they tied the muffler up with. <laughs> It's got the, the 20 gallon drum fuel tank that they've braised the fittings into. I mean, it's like a working working museum on wheels. It extends out too. Yeah, I know. One more feature that could break at any time. <laughs> Still, though. Cool old dinosaur. 
CJ7, 1980. Black has got a salvage title. Right here. I didn't think I'd have to go down that far. Hundred and that's me. Now twenty five. Anybody? Hundred and twenty five. And now fifty. One fifty. Going down to seventy five. One seventy five. Number seventy five. Number two. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number two. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number two. Going down to twenty five. Number twenty five. Number I have some 250, put it on 262, 250, put it on 250, put it on 250, put it on 183, 450, 183 is about 450, 183. Oh, Comes a good deal. So what do you do? I think one good that old six will run. That's you. That's you. Good. I need glasses. I better find that picture to show you. That's cool. Two. Two, three. Well, original hubcaps. Yep. Anytime you can buy something with original hubcaps, according to Mr. Tom Reed. I have 
I, I can't hardly hear you. And I took it, and I took it his, and then I went back to you. We're going to open it up again. What I, what I get? 450 with gentlemen. This gentleman will have to be 475. Not five. To me? No! Act like it's the first option you've been to. 500. 475, 500. Five and a quarter. Attack me when you're out. I'm out. 525. Okay. Five hundred twenty five. 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 Five hundred twen
Kansas title is available, but it is selling with a bill of sale. All the numbers match has the California heater. Oh, this is the one you're looking for. I paid up, so maybe I'll get which one are they selling? No, uh, this one, yeah. It's gonna need to shift over. It's gonna need to shift over. There you go. Uh, that's probably good. No, I'm gonna put those engines on the front too. These 1988 through 98 Chevrolet trucks have a reputation for durability and reliability, but they are also rapidly gaining collector value. This one, with the odd options of the four-wheel drive and five-speed, was a definite desirable piece for collector value or for use. The $4,400 that it brought was a very well-bought price in my opinion, considering that it will only continue to go up in value. When you price this against a new truck, it's a relative bargain. Plus, cost of maintenance and ownership are a lot less than a new one because you can still service it yourself and parts are available and cheap. If you had $2,000 to $4,000 burning a hole in your pocket and needed a vehicle that would do a good bit of heavy work close to home. Any of these 1967 to 72 Chevrolet C31 tons might have been a good choice for you. The green truck and the gold truck sold lower because they definitely needed some repairs and maintenance caught up having sat for a while. If you needed an old truck to do work, these were a solid choice and at over half a century old, 
their collector value will only continue to increase. The 1972 K10 body on the three quarter ton frame was an unfinished project. While $2,000 is a cheap price and tempting, that 8 to 10 inch gap in the bed was problematic and something that the next owner will be at a crossroads to decide what to do to address in the future of this build. As unholy marriages go, this one definitely needs some therapy to get it back on the track. Another dubious unholy marriage was this 1967 short bed with its Oldsmobile engine and 1980s bed. Its next owner will have a crossroads as well, deciding whether to keep it together and enjoy it as is, or blow it apart and do extensive bodywork and restoration. The neatest vehicle on the field by far was the fiberglass body Jeep. With every period accessory imaginable and in the best running condition, the buyers took note and pushed it to $10,000. The condition and uniqueness of this time capsule leave it to something that can only continue to appreciate as time goes on. The Survivor 66 Toronado sold at a price where the new owner could enjoy it or, if desired to resell, there was definitely still some meat on the bone. The 57 four-door hardtop was a unique body style with a restoration that let it still look good, but it wasn't too perfect that a person would be scared to use it. For $16,000, there's a lot of fun in this car, and it will probably continue to hold its value. $2,000 was a fair price for this unrestored gas pump, which was in good Survivor original condition. 14000 was a strong price for an early vehicle, but Roadster pickups aren't around every corner, and the restoration of this one was 98% finished, so the new owner could coast it out and enjoy it. The unfinished 1940s Chevrolet truck needed an awful, awful lot left to go, and at the $2,600 selling price, sold pretty much about for what the parts there were worth. The crane truck was the handiest vehicle there, and though it did need some repairs and maintenance caught up, at $2,300, you wouldn't have to do a whole lot of work with this truck to make it pay for itself pretty quick. The 1983 Buick Century sold for $600. Like it or not, believe it or not, at four decades old, these cars are acquiring collector value. This one with the rebuilt engine was a good value and the buyer will have a little bit of money left over to put some repairs, maintenance, and updates as well as new tires, maybe some work on the brakes to get this car functional and back on the road. Well bought for something that still has a lot of life left in it. Look for it soon on a mail route near you. 57s were complete, but needed completely restored. The way the market is, against restoration cost, probably realistically would have been cheaper to buy one done. However, this hobby, something that we do for the fun and the passion of it, and the guys who bought these cars will be able to know exactly how every bolt was turned, and know that they put in the effort to restore these cars. If you needed just a few pieces from a 57, $200 to $250 was a super cheap buy-in for any of the parts cars. 49 Plymouth was someone's impulse buy at $250, and whether it's a restoration car, parts car, or yard art, there's a lot of smiles for $250 in this one. The AMC Marlin at $550 was tempting, but this car was hiding a lot of rust that you couldn't see. Restoration would be expensive. 
Though the Ford looked like junk, 300 was a bargain considering what the hydraulic brake axles are worth, and it'd be a unique piece of yard art or wall hanger. Well bought. The buyer of this Chevy paid 650 for a truck which coincidentally had right at exactly $650 worth of parts on it. 500 was a fair price for the 56 Hydromatic truck. Though it was rough, there is good aftermarket parts availability for these trucks if someone's willing to put in the work and time. Same price and same story on this mid-60s truck, although the buyer had the benefit of a good six-cylinder engine. Well bought. If you needed just a few parts, this 60s Chevy truck at 300 was a bargain. The GMC Suburban, rough as a cob, will put its new owner at a crossroads, whether to use for parts or take on a very ambitious restoration. This cheap heap of a hacked up Jeep provided one 17 year old an impulsive summer of fun. So, just depending who was bidding and buying, it would either be parts or another summer of impulsive fun to the next 17 year old with a few hundred bucks burning a hole in his pocket. This Jeep was a little better buy considering it still had the factory bodywork intact. $1,000 was a fair price for this relatively intact, unmolested CJ. One of the best values at the entire sale at 1800 was this old Jeep with its accessory plow blade and trencher. Definite unique oddity, it also had the potential to be handy and functional. I was pleased with the two-door Malibu that I bought, even though it was a second to the last vehicle to sell in the very last row on a hot day, they still didn't let me have it for cheap. This is probably my fifth or sixth Malibu, and even though I've let the others go, might decide to do something with this one. We'll see. The 305 V8, unfortunately, is locked up, so that will have me at a crossroads as far as what to do about a drivetrain. But if you know me, I like my stuff all stock, down to the hubcaps, just the way God and General Motors intended. So with that said, I'm keeping an eye out for an original Smog Era Malay Sarah 305 V8.